Hey guys, it's me, Tiffany, just coming to you guys with a really quick um, beauty hoarder um, episode. Um, I've been kind of getting off track with this a little bit. When I was spring cleaning, I threw a lot of stuff away and um, all that stuff. But I do have some stuff that I've been saving up um, and that I wanted to share with you and give like many reviews on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link Tear Falls Break um, in the down bar. She's amazing and um, her videos are awesome. And I really was have forgot to do mine. I was going to do mine over the weekend, my beauty hoarder um, video. And then I have like forgot about it. And then I just saw her video up. So I was like, got to do that. So I'm here to do that video for you guys. Um, but definitely check her out. I will link her YouTube channel in the down bar. So check her out. Okay, first thing first, um, I finished up a Coconut Lime Breeze Shower Gel. When I bought this, I bought like two or three of them. I actually love this scent. Um, it's a little bit of water in the bottom, as you say. Because I like to, um, <laughs> I like to take these when they're like down low and you can't get any more to squirt out. I use them as body wash. I mean, um, bubble bath. But I love this scent, as I've, I've mentioned this in a previous video, this particular one from Bath & Body, because I love it so much. It's just one of those, it's definitely more lime than coconut, in my opinion, but it is a unisex, fra unisex fragrance. So my boyfriend and me use this, and that's why I like it, because it's something you can have in the shower, that it's not just for you, and it's not just for him. It's kind of just unisex. It's not too girly, and it's not too manly. So that's why I like the um, Coconut Lime Breeze. That is my second one I've gone through. I think I have one more left, I think, that I need to get through. That's how much I like that one. Um, something else I finished up was a, it's called Pure Skin. It was um, a body polish. And as you see, it doesn't have a bottom anymore, right? Um, what I did was pulled it off because there was some left in here and I wanted to get it all out because that's how much I liked it. Now, I don't know where you can find this i'm not 100 percent sure the name of it is pure skin and it's abba if you see that i don't know if that's the name of it or something like that but um i actually got this from my tanning salon um it was like they were doing little gift baskets or something like that and if you bought like so many sessions or something you got entered in the giveaway and i won it um but what I thought was really cool about it was it's um, black walnut shells is what they use to exfoliate. And I just, I loved it with my skin. I absolutely loved it. And I've, I, like I said, I pulled the cap off to get as much as the rest of it out as I could. So I absolutely love that. The smell of it was like um, mint, like spearmint. Oh my gosh. It just smells like a mojito. Oh my God. I'll just the smell alone is just peppermint that's what it was <laughs> meant I knew it was some kind of mint it's peppermint scent it says peppermint um energy for energizing oh my gosh I cannot talk enough about how good this stuff is I'm gonna have to go on like Amazon or something and see if I can find it but it's called um pure skin so yeah definitely we were would repurchase that 100% um, I finished up yet another one of my favorite things that I show in every single one of these videos is my Suave Keratin Infused. I absolutely love this shampoo. I cannot tell you enough how much I love it. I'm addicted. I was in, um, before we went to the Southern Women's Show Sunday, me and my cousin had to go into Rite Aid and they had, um, the Suave products, buy one, get one half off. And I was like, Oh my god i didn't even go in there for shampoo but i was like oh i'll go ahead and get two um <laughs> that's how much i love this um i had used another shampoo product which i will review that in another video and it was awful it worked the first time or two after that it completely dried my hair out i could not straighten my hair after using it it was the worst shampoo ever but that's for another video but this, guys, if you have not tried it, the Suave Keratin, I know they have a Moroccan, which is probably amazing as well. These shampoos are awesome. I believe they retail for about $3.99 a piece. Um, like I said, Rite Aid this week um, because the sale started Sunday. Yeah, yeah, the sale started Sunday, so it's still going on. Um, they were buy one, get one half, half off. So 
it's a good way to try it when it's on sale like that. So definitely check this out. My favorite shampoo I've ever tried. Love it. And the smell is good too because it's not one of those fruity smelling ones. It's just a very clean scent. Very clean scent and I love it. Um, ba -boom. I finished off a Bath and Body Works um, little spray that I had. This was in um, Dark Kiss, and it just looks like that. I love these little body sprays. Um, I have quite a big array of um, perfumes, but a lot of times I just like spray these on me. Um, I use these type of sprays more than I use my perfumes but I really like dark dark kiss it's one of my absolute favorite scents from Bath and Body Works the smell reminds me of and I just got it all over my nose it's like a sweet lavender if that makes sense like a sweet lavender oh I love this so I finished that up and I do have another one in my car not joking um, blah, blah, blah. I finished up one this little sample of the Neutrogena um, Fresh Foaming Cleanser, which looks like this. Um, this took makeup off really, really well, really well. Um, and I was really surprised because it didn't feel like it was taking it off, but it really did. My issue with this is, is if you have very, um... What was I going to say? If you have very dry skin, um, which I have dry skin except for my T-zone, I have oily skin. This is probably kind of iffy for you, um, but I would try in a little sample like this. This wasn't something that I would repurchase. I didn't, it didn't foam up. Like it says it's a foaming cleanser. It didn't foam for me, but I, it wasn't something that I was like, Oh, yes, I can't wait to get the big one. Um, it's definitely not something I would repurchase. I think with any skin combination with this, you really need to kind of play with it and get a small size before you go and spend the kind of money on it. Um, because Neutrogena for drugstore is not cheap. Um, and I just didn't think it was anything special. I didn't. Um, and last but not least, um, I finished up the Garnier Skin Renewal. Skin Renew, um, the Brusher Gel Cleanser. Looks like this. I absolutely love this. Um, I would definitely repurchase this 110%. Let me show you the front a little bit longer so you can see it. Um, this was actually an amazing cleanser for your face. I loved the bristles that it had. Oh, it just... it. I loved it. I loved everything about it. The only issue I have was that it was drying, but my skin was clear when I used this. Um, my skin has broke out from, from switching to another one while, that I'm using right now, or that I was using, um, which I actually trashed that because it was completely breaking me out. This one, my skin stayed so clear when I was using this. Um... I have nothing bad to say about this. I absolutely love it. I would 100% recommend this to anybody that I know. Um, it does, like I said, it's a little over drying, which would be perfect for really obsessive oily skin. Um, but for me, I mean, it didn't dry me out that bad because as soon as I get out, I moisturize and all that anyway. So it didn't really bother me because as soon as I wash my face, I moisturize. But I would definitely repurchase this. I absolutely love it. It says, says um... Deep cleans and exfoliates smooth skin after one use, and it's 100% true. It really does smooth your skin. When I would get out of the shower, my skin felt, like, soft, like a baby's bottom. Like, it was, that was kind of weird to say, but it was so soft. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely loved it. Um, I have more things that I'm getting rid of, guys, and I'm working towards finishing so i'll have another video up soon i promise you but these are just a few things that i had finished and that i had saved for you guys to give you a little bit of a mini review on so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you in the next one don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video bye guys